What's going on, everybody? My name's Nash, aka Zabrock, and today we're going to be doing streaming for beginners with a beginner's part two. I actually have done this video before, and for some reason, I don't know if my mic was muted at the time, but I didn't think it was, and I just made the whole video. And after I went back and watched it when it posted the next day, I realized there was absolutely no sound. And <clears throat> It must have been the mic being muted or disconnected because that happens sometimes too with OBS. But anyways, into the video, we are going to be talking about, well, it, let's start it off by saying if you watch the first video, you'll obviously notice something different if you haven't seen anything else I've done lately or any of my shorts from making my stream room. But now I have a stream room, so I'm no longer in the living room, which was one of the topics in the main first video. And... Today we're basically going to be talking about the second part of what was in the first video, so you should just watch that and check it out. I don't know how to put it in the little thing like everybody does yet, so it won't be there, but we're going to go over my stream progression. It's going to be like three to six months of all the other stuff that I picked up and like things that I did to make my stream and my whole setup look a little better. And then there is going to be a part three of this because I've already been picking up a lot more stuff now that I got the stream room, obviously. And I'm definitely going to make a part three about that. So let's just start off with the easier stuff and we'll go right into that. Um, what did I get first? I got the ring lights. I definitely got that, which I've upgraded already to a smaller kind of flat light. Um, I'll show you that in a different video and I'll pull my ring light out and kind of show you the differences between the two and why I like the ones I got now better and mainly that's because I got two of them instead of the one big ring light it wasn't that big but we'll do a video on that but yeah I got lighting because if you've seen the first video you will realize that I said that the lighting I had when I first started was not adequate at all um this camera doesn't have a light that like comes out of it if that makes any sense or like a dark mode light mode whatever it would be called but it's just a simple webcam it's not anything fancy yet <clears throat> i'll be working on that eventually too but of course i got this next um the headset just was not working at all for me um it was terrible uh all the audio was way worse than it is on this and i still talk pretty low on this so sometimes you will notice that you can't hear me very well and there might be times where you do hear me very well, especially now because I don't have a headset on, so I don't have to be quiet, quieter to, you know, not wake the kids and stuff. I know how loud I'm talking because I don't have muffled ears, which is perfect. And this mic is actually great. It's the Blue Yeti. Uh, this is the Black Out Edition, I'm pretty sure it was called. And it's worked good for me so far. It was cheap. I mean, for a mic, it was only $100. It had a lot of good reviews that I seen from other people, like other videos that I was watching. That was kind of one that always came up as a good starter mic. And I mean, the only thing I will say is it doesn't look as kind of sweet and stylish as some of those other ones. Um, I can actually buy something on the Etsy that holds it sideways. And I've thought about doing that, but I think then maybe the camera or not camera, the mic arm, boom arm might actually come up a little too far and then you would just see that and i don't know how much i would like that either sometimes especially when i'm just gaming and we're not in the actual chat type box that i'm in right now doing this video you can't really tell that i even have a mic here which is kind of cool because a lot of the times i'm wearing like a darker colored shirt unless it's like a red one or something and <clears throat> it's kind of dark in here as it is and that's the way i like it like the only light i really have is from the tv this and a little bit from the leds i guess they are i don't know what brand they are off the top of my head i don't remember but either ways after that i kind of just decided that i should probably make my stuff look a little better and i like made some of my own logos but i just they're very basic just lettering and a like cool little background to go with it and I wanted to step it up, make my stuff look a little bit more professional, and I actually know a guy who's done some other logos for me in the past for other things, and I hit him up, I got the logo you're seeing at the bottom of the screen, which is kind of hard to see because right now it's in black, 
and I haven't hit him up again to see if he can change it to white because he didn't actually make this camera thing. He only made the logo. And the guy kind of did it on black because it looks cool when it's on white. And that's how I was having it most of the time, except for in my other things, which you'll see eventually if you watch me on streaming at all. But, yeah, there's some white and stuff that makes it look better. But right now, you can't see the logo as well. But it's way better than it was. Um, it's not just lettering. The lettering's kind of the same as what I had before, but it was different. But anyways, yeah, that's where I started, and I went like a couple of months without having any problems, and I was still just using the Xbox companion app and the Twitch app on the Xbox, and then eventually, I don't know if I said this in the first video, I can't remember off the top of my head because it's been so long and I already made this video once, but I'm saying a butt a lot, I'm sorry for that, I just keep saying that, I don't know why, it just kind of happens, but see, there you go. Anyways... I decided to use my used laptop eventually and start streaming through OBS because it just, it, you don't get to do a lot with the actual Twitch app. It's basic. You just go in, you can start it in whatever game you're playing, obviously, will be the game it says, and you can, like, add your little stuff, whatever. It's not a big deal, but, like, one, I bought a package eventually that... I needed to use OBS for so I could have like different scenes and stuff like that in there which is kind of like what you're seeing now this is actually just one of my scenes this is what I would use if I was just like in the middle of talking and I would just turn that on instead of like having the game up and me just talking to the small screen I could switch between it which is super awesome and I love it um especially if like one of my friends are on and then we kind of get into a conversation in the chat and yeah, it's just way more convenient to be able to pop it up and then you just see me like this rather than having to look at the little screen on the bottom the whole time. I think it's cool. Other people might not think it's that cool, but I think it's pretty awesome. But it was pretty easy, actually, to set up OBS. I'm not really probably planning on doing any videos about that because I'm still learning. And there's tons of other people you can get that from. I mean, I learned it pretty quick from a couple different people. I don't honestly remember all their names because I watched like three or four different people. Um, I think one was e EOS Box, EPOS Box, something like that. If you look it up, I'm sure you'll find them or maybe you've already heard of them. Who knows? But yeah, that was basically what I was doing. I was using a Lenovo ThinkPad 14, I think it was, and it worked good for a long time until... Unfortunately, the Xbox Companion app on my laptop, which I was starting to use to stream through OBS, just one day crashed. Like, I couldn't use it at all. I tried one day, like, for an hour to get it to go. It would not go. Then I read that it was down. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm just screwed for this stream. I'll go back on in a couple of days. Because at that time, I was streaming, what was it, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And I was doing it for like three hours, so I was like, damn, I lost three hours, whatever. Go to go on, I think it was Thursday, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I went to go on again on Thursday, and the same thing happened, and I was like, what the heck? And then I just did it a couple more times, just like last time, it didn't work. Finally, I went to Saturday, and it didn't work again. And that's when I decided to get my HD60S from Elgato. And unfortunately, this was right before they released their new one. So that kind of sucked. But what can you do? I actually do like the HD60S. It's perfect for what I need it for. It works great. I've only had one problem with it. And that was my whole computer was not up to date. Uh, it had... Um, I think an i3 or maybe no I think it was a Ryzen 3 one of those two it had a 3 I'm pretty sure it was a Ryzen if I'm saying that right but yes anyways I ended up having to get a new laptop which <clears throat> I kind of want to do a video of breaking down some of my stuff but I'm gonna have to search it up one day and like have a bunch of tabs up so that I can just go in and click them and yeah hopefully that'll all work but i also think i don't know how i'm gonna do that 
because, yeah, I don't know, when I use my TV instead of my little laptop, which is way down here, because I have a very short, like, coffee table that I have all my stuff on, which works perfect for the setup I got it in now, but I'm also not a keyboard and mouse gamer. I have my laptop strictly for streaming to Twitch, so it just is able to handle the Elgato app and the Elgato HD60S. It's got a strong enough CPU because every time I try to do it with um, my Lenovo, what happened? Uh, first, it didn't work at all because for some reason I just couldn't get the actual HD60S to link up properly. It kept like skipping out a little bit and it would shut off every once in a while. And once I got that figured out, it just took tweaking a little bit of my settings in OBS, but I don't even know how to explain how frustrating this was because if, when you don't have the right CPU size or like power, whatever you want to call it, I'm not very techy. I don't know crap about computer parts, but whatever is going on with that thing. Holy crap, did it not work. Um, I could absolutely not have all my stuff plugged in and be like streaming from the Elgato app because it would put my CPU at like 80% usage and holy crap it just froze up I mean like about four or five times I tried it it just froze up and that's when I had to get my gateway I don't even remember what this is called but again I'll do a video about that and to not make this go any longer we will end there on that and then next we'll, next video we'll do about the stream room and then we'll have another video later on that's totally different about all my upgrades after I get the stream room so I can tell you guys about the panels and all that stuff that I got. <coughs> I'm sorry man, my throat is dry. You have no idea how long how much your throat needs exercise doing this one. You're trying to do it all in one take and not edit a lot cuz I'm not great at editing either and that's something I'm working on. But let's get into <coughs> something better how do you decide your game i'll tell you how i decided my game um i started off with basically picking a game that i knew i could play for hours which is skyrim and again when i was using the twitch app and all that i was having a lot of issues because i don't know why to be honest because i did it later on and i still had issues so i think it was just the fact that skyrim was having a problem on my xbox and maybe I think I figured it out. I think I had too many pets in my house. And whenever I was going in there, them all trying to load in there, just shut everything down. Because every time I went into my house to, like, store stuff or something, it would just kick me out of the game. Which kicks you out of streaming if you're using the Twitch app. That's why, I, if you can, use an old laptop. I'm pretty sure the Council Companion app is working again. So you can use that. Just realize that eventually... It might not work. It might happen. It is an app, and sometimes it doesn't work. But then, <clears throat> after all that kept happening, I decided I played Rainbow Six Siege in a while. I really liked that game when it first came out, and I played it for like a good three years. And I was like, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and play this for a little while. And the problems I've seen with that... Is like single player versus multiplayer games. Um, maybe not so much if you're not caring about talking to the other people. But when I play those types of games, I really like to be a team player. And I like to actually be able to hear people. And I'm not much of a solos player. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of fun when I'm running around trying to kill a bunch of people. Like in a multiplayer sense. Um, by myself. It's kind of more of a game that I like to have teammates and stuff on. That's kind of the point of it, right? And it's not that hard now because I could totally set it up, but it's hard for me because being my age, I'm freaking 30 years old, um, all my friends, including me, have kids and other stuff to do in life. So, like, <laughs> the only reason I get to play a lot is because I got an awesome wife who thought it was awesome for me to take this little venture into trying to stream and do stuff like this and I really appreciate her for that and she's awesome obviously because 
obviously I, it's, it's not making me money uh you can look at my youtube if you see this you'll notice i don't have a lot of subscribers and there's probably two views on this video maybe more at this point who knows i did get up 15 subscribers on twitch or followers on twitch and i think i'm up to 10 or 9 on youtube which is awesome because i was only at one when I started streaming on YouTube and kind of making these videos, and I know at least one of those guys is one of my buddies I work with, but either way, he watches my videos and talks to me sometimes, so that's still a win. But I played No Man's Sky and Fallout 76 for a little bit after I decided that I just couldn't play multiplayer games without being able to talk to people. And that's when I went to Fallout 76 first. It was bah. I mean, I heard it was a lot better. I personally didn't think it was that much better. But again, it is kind of a multiplayer-based game. And it probably would be more fun if I was running around, like, doing stuff like that. Because I did have people come up to me sometimes when I was streaming. And, like, they'd be in the game. And I feel like they were trying to talk to me. But I couldn't hear them. Because I had to have all the components, like... I had a splitter into my controller to get this in there at the time because I didn't have this whole setup with the computer at first. So I was just using my Xbox. And once I did that, it wouldn't let me like, I couldn't start a party. Like, I think I could start a party, but I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything because, or they couldn't hear anything. I could hear them if I wasn't in a party, but eventually I just went to a party so that nobody, I didn't have to see it because, you know, if somebody comes up to you and you're talking and you see the little mic pop on the, up on the screen, there's nothing you can do if <clears throat> they're not going to hear this mic because it's only streaming to the Twitch. I don't know why it was like that, but for some reason it was. I could not be in a party, like, streaming with my friends or anything. Maybe they changed that. I have no idea. It's been a while since I used it. But No Man's Sky was kind of cool, too, for a while, but... That was also when I only had the companion and not the HD60S. Once I got that, I of course had to play Pokemon Legends Arceus because I just got a Switch. I just got that. And right after that, I ended up having to get the HD60S, which I was going to eventually get anyway, so I could play games on my Switch too. So it just kind of worked out. <clears throat> after I beat that... I was like, all right, um, I kind of did some of the other things in it, like, I started collecting all of the special Pokemon at the end, and then I kind of got to the point where I was like, all right, I'm no longer finding this interesting enough for me to make a video or a stream about it, like, I can't get that involved into it, because it's basically just tedious work at that point, like, I, I get people make a lot of videos, I've watched videos myself, of, like, people just random shiny hunting and stuff, but I'm not about to do that. Um, I like the game, but I'm not that obsessed, so I was like, what could I do that I know I could make some fun content with because I actually like the game and will take me up until, like, Starfield, and then I heard about High on Life, which is going to be my next game for sure come December 13th. We will be playing that game, man, because, oh my god, it looks hilarious. Anyways, so I started replaying Fallout 4, which I've only played about nine times, I think. I've been splitting it up. I do one a day now for the past month, so eight, I think I'm at. But I know seven because I missed one week on YouTube, I think. Um, Yeah, crap. I didn't miss a week, so I think there's three on YouTube right now, and four, well, they're probably not showing up on my Twitch anymore, but yeah, they're there too. I thought about recording them all, even if I do do it on Twitch, but I don't know. I would have to do like a stream for like an hour or a half hour and just kind of do it for fun. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow and see if I can record it like a half hour gameplay video. Because that would be something cool I could do too. But yeah, I I don't know. I don't know how to do that yet. I'm learning. You're learning with me. I know this video is kind of a drag because I kind of get lost trying to think of stuff. But I'm new. You're going to be new too and it's going to happen to you 
awesome. I mean, once I get into editing, I can cut stuff like this out. But I'm a noob, and I don't know how to edit. Let's keep going. Let's just get this out of the way. Um, come watch me if you want. You can see all the Fallout stuff. That's the game I decided to pick. But at the end of this, I did want to do a quick, quick summary of how I felt about variety gaming and single game streaming. Like, I know a lot of people that, like, their thing is Rocket League. That's what they like to do. That's their game. Everybody loves Call of Duty, so I know there's a overabundance of Call of Duty players. I'm sure when Starfield comes out, I'm going to hit the lowest of the low. There's going to be a bunch of people streaming it. And, yeah, I don't even know if it's going to be worth it for me to stream it, but I'm going to do it just to maybe gain some followers. Obviously, I'll throw it out on here a lot more, which I've been trying to do also. And, yeah, I just prefer variety streaming. Like, I like to be able to go to different games um that's my opinion i honestly will tell you the pros and cons of both one i don't get that bored because if i really want to switch a game and i'm not feeling it and i'm not feeling like they're going to be feeling it if i'm playing it i just switch end of story i don't have no problems i don't have to try to hype myself up to talk or like be excited but at the same time one of my biggest problems is is when i was watching or not watching, when I was playing Pokemon Legends of Arceus, I had a steady couple of viewers. Um, I had a couple of followers that followed me, and I do think they come and still watch my videos later on, maybe at least check it out for a little bit, because I do get some views on some of my videos, and that's pretty cool. But it's not always like it was. I used to have like viewers that would come in and chat for like a minute, you know, no, I don't, because obviously once I switch to Fallout, I'm getting a whole new crowd. I am getting some people on Twitch that, like, will view me, of course. Like, I actually have gotten, I got 33 views on one of my videos after I was streaming. So that means somebody actually went in and, like, watched it afterwards somehow, which is cool. I don't know if they got, like, recommended that or what, or how the hell they find it, but... They did, because I had 32 views, maybe it just updated later on, and that's how many I had in the whole stream. But either way, that was good to me. That was the most I ever had, and I really liked it. But also, that was on Fallout, and I don't get really anybody that chats with me except for my friend from work, whereas if you're streaming a single-player game like Call of Duty, and you get some followers, and they do decide to come back and watch you, it might be because they just like watching Call of Duty. I don't mind watching Call of Duty. I watch people that play Call of Duty. I watch people that play all sorts of things. And that's mainly so I can kind of like f try to figure out like how they do it. I don't want to steal their ideas in any way. But like there's some people that are just so like calm, cool, and collective. And obviously if you're watching this still to the end, freaking thank you because I don't know why. Because I'm sure I've been dragging this out forever because I'm just like always nervous and I'm just trying to keep it going and keep it interesting and start talking about something else. And like we're having a conversation when I know you can't say anything unless you leave a comment, which I will respond to. Yeah, so that's the plus sides and the downsides, I would say. I mean, obviously, if you're super into one game, you're not going to have a problem. Just play the one game. If you're the type of person like me, where you really like to play other games, that might be a problem for you, and you might just not want to stream eventually because of that. You might get tired out and just be like, oh, I just don't feel like playing today, but I'm going to do it anyway because everybody says I need to keep my schedule, which I get. You should keep your schedule. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but again if you're getting too bored if you're getting bored while you're playing the game i don't think you're going to be able to be interesting while you're bored playing the game unless you're very very good at this and if you are you're probably already popular and you shouldn't be watching me man like it's the truth but i think we're just gonna end it there i do got some other stuff i want to talk about but i think we're just gonna save that for three it's mainly gonna be about wearing yourself down we'll start off with that probably in the next video and then we'll talk well 
No, we'll end with that on the next video. We're going to talk first about this amazing damn stream room I've set up here. And, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'll even kind of tilt the TVs for, TV for you because that's where my webcam is right now. It's just on top of my TV because having it on a tripod like before was not looking good at any angle. Now, I can switch the angle. Pretty awesome, and I love that too, but... You guys have a great night. If you're still watching this all the way to the end, please drop a comment. Tell me how I did. Tell me what I can do to improve. Like, should I try to edit some of the rambling out? Do you like the rambling? Does it make it seem like I'm more, um, not personable, what's it called? Relatable? Because maybe you would be doing this too if this was your first or second YouTube video, which... I don't know. I'm still not great at doing this, obviously, but that's the whole point of me thinking about this whole streaming for beginners with a beginner. I just know every video I watched, it was always somebody that's like, you watch the video or you go to their page and they got like 400,000 subscribers and it's like, I get it. I appreciate you like telling me. But at the same time, I think you're so removed from the actual feelings of it that I just thought maybe this would be a good idea. Uh, if you think so, too, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification button, all the things they say. And come watch me again because I will definitely be doing a part three. Maybe a part four, like, mm, I don't know. It's not going to be a while before part four because I don't have any ideas for that because part three is going to be all the up-to-date stuff now and then we're going to go on to some other content that i've been thinking of and hopefully i don't suck at that but i love you guys have a good night